tell me about about chiropractic and and how you got started in the industry. I uh, played well. I went to Vanderbilt University, played football there, and I ended up actually playing twelve years of professional football after that. And it got uh, it got pretty intense. And the different teams that I played with had their own chiropractors, and so being I'm originally from Arkansas, and I didn't really know what a chiropractor was, and and so the, the team chiropractors would get us adjusted right before games, actually in the locker room before the games, because the whole theory behind that was that, well, if you have a better connection to your your brain and your muscles are more connected to your brain, then you're going to be more responsive, more reactive and quicker off the ball and things like that. And um, as I continued on in my career, I realized I couldn't play forever. And so I asked the chiropractor, you know, what it takes to be a chiropractor. And he said, well, it's depends on where you go to school. And I ended up settling on a five-year program that was condensed down into three and a half years. So what's your favorite part about working in chiropractic? Uh, just all the different people we get to meet. Uh, we you know, are out in Huntington Beach, uh, California. So we've had some interesting uh, people we've had. Uh, let's see who Marty Cove from the Karate Kid, uh, the sweep the leg guy. He's been a patient. Um, oh, wow. uh, Avicii, the, the, big performer unfortunately that passed away fairly recently he was a patient um who else the big guy from uh better call saul he he the, the big black guy uh what is yeah <laughs> but you know who i'm talking about yeah he's not nearly as big anymore he's lost a lot of weight and he would come in with his whole crew it was a lot of fun i have a lot of fun pictures with him. we've had um let's see daryl green big star uh defensive back hall of famer from the redskins he he was a patient that came in so it's just been really interesting we actually had one of the weigh-in brothers call the office and want us to come up to la and treat him and and we're super super busy and we were just kind of like you know i appreciate it if you want to come down during lunch so you don't see as many people or whatever that's fine but we just can't come up there to see you so that sometimes you just got to say no What's your least favorite part about the industry? The disparity between people that are just trying to help help people and other people that just are trying to get out their own agenda and are trying to, you know, there's some chiropractors that are trying to get the ability to prescribe medications, which is the exact opposite of the chiropractic philosophy. And so um, I just wish there wasn't that disparity. I mean, I know that's going to be kind of in any industry there's going to be people that have different beliefs but that's just the biggest thing for me is that there's people that are trying to always compete and trying to you know say oh no they're doing it wrong we're doing it right it's just kind of like yeah, people just do it differently mm, interesting interesting so um is there a specific demographic that is harder to work with like i hear a lot about millennials in medicine yeah i that is well, that was what was interesting when Avicii came in. I was kind of surprised, and we because he was younger, and because a lot of our patients are are over forty, and mm -hmm. it uh, it was it was refreshing to have him come in. But um, yeah, I think the millennials just because they don't really, I don't think they value their health as much as mm -hmm. the older folks because they haven't started to lose their health yet, so they don't really consider it that important. And uh, I, I think that's something that we need to try to try to work on. And, and that's one of the things that we've done. Uh, we have a YouTube channel that um, is really popular. We get about 99% of our new patients from YouTube. And um, mm. it, uh, I think that is something that can kind of help get the message out a little more, mm -hmm. but it still is uh, lacking. And what's your channel? It's uh, John B. Cairo. It's the YouTube channel. And we started out years ago, we only had about 2,000 subscribers. Now we have about 450,000 subscribers. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. And, that, and, and that's one of the things that it's just, con you just have to constantly be posting stuff every week and sometimes every day. And, and we've got about five or 600 videos on there now. And so it just mm -hmm. takes, uh, we do a health talk every Tuesday night. And that's. That's something I think that, that a lot of other chiropractors should do to try to get their message out. But people are like, oh, well, I don't like to talk on camera or I'm not good on camera or whatever. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, that's something that you don't even have to do it. You don't have to be on camera. You can have like a slideshow or something and talk over it. You can use SlideShare. You can use a bunch of different mm -hmm. online tools to, to just get your message out so that some more people know about you. Most businesses struggle in only four areas, and that's money, time, people, and passion. And so which one do you find to be the biggest struggle in chiropractic? Uh, 
as far as like new patients, you think? As far as overall challenges in your business. So um, I think it's finding good quality docs to work with you. That's one of the biggest problems because I, I work, I'm an associate with Dr. John Bergman here out in California. And we, it, we started out eight years ago. Um, I joined on and it was just two of us. And then now we've got uh, five, six associates. And so there's a whole lot of people and it's just getting everybody up to speed so that all the different um, practitioners are at the same level because that way you're able to serve more people because we see two to 300 people a day and it gets pretty exhausting if, if everybody else isn't quite up to speed. So that's, that's wow. the biggest thing. Two yeah. to 300 people a day. Yeah. And wow. I'm tired. I, my, I'm, I'm the slacker of the group. I don't get in until 7 a.m. and stay until 6 p.m. So uh, everybody, Dr. Bourbon gets, gets in at five in the morning. I mean, it's just, it's insane. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So how would your family and friends describe you outside of work? Um, I am act, an active guy. I like to go to the gym. I like to be outside. Um, not super social. I kind of, because I am around so many people at work during the day, I kind of like to, you know, kind of be a little more introspective. Um, mm -hmm. and just right now I'm really excited about learn. I'm always learning something new. I'm either doing a new online project or, um, setting up a new membership site or uh, podcasts, all different kinds of things, just because I'm always, I don't like to sit along a long, a long time not doing anything. So I like to be doing something all the time. And what's your, what's your greatest passion? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Now, actually, it is um, Alzheimer's and dementia and CTE because of my years of football. And it's all intertwined because they found with Alzheimer's uh, brains, they also have the tau proteins they find in CTE. And so I, um, my dad, unfortunately, has early onset dementia. His dad passed away from advanced Alzheimer's because I had all the head trauma. I'm worried about it in myself. And so mm -hmm. I'm really focused. I've sent in my genetic information so that I can see if I have the genetic marker for Alzheimer's. And it used to be that was like a death sentence. You would find out and your doctor would just be like, well, you better get your stuff in order because there's nothing we can do. But there's a lot of really great advances that the current medical system's not really aware of because it's not a pill. I mean, their whole monotherapy is where it's like take a magic pill to fix everything. Well, this is, it's way more complicated than that. And I, I'm just really excited to learn all I can and get the information out to more people about that. Wow. Wow. So, um, what is a, what's a successful life for you? A successful life for me would be to have a clinic that's helping people recover from any brain injuries, Alzheimer, dementia, cognitive dysfunction. Also to have a membership site online where they can get all this great information and get connected with uh, practitioners in their area. Ultimately, I'd like to have all the um, medical professionals out there up to speed on everything. I'm from Arkansas originally, so a lot of the doctors there are way behind the times, especially if you have docs that have been practicing for an extended amount of time. They just, they, I feel like they stop learning the latest stuff and just assume there's no, you know, options anymore. And, mm -hmm. and I think just educating the professionals and the people on what's available, that, that would be my ideal life. So I could just help as many people, hire more people to, to open more clinics, things like that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So where can viewers find you? Um, the easiest place to find me, I actually have an app. It's uh, at drdewittapp.com. Um, I've got a big web class coming up on September 7th and a bunch of other stuff. So you can find out all about that in there. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me. You're so welcome. Thank you.